barely jiggle this. It does not sound good. Does not sound like they were properly wrapped. I am worried. Okay, folks. So right now, I'm opening up a recent haul of salt and pepper shakers that I just got. Welcome to my channel, by the way. Uh, I wanted to do this haul of salt and pepper shakers that I bought off of eBay. They looked all right, but of course the pictures weren't um, great. You basically saw one picture of a lot of them. Um, even zooming in, you couldn't really see what you got. Sorry, I'm still trying to open this. Uh, so I figured I would risk it for a biscuit, as they say here in England. Let's put this down. Um, right, okay, let's see. Well, they put entire newspapers on the top to protect it. All right then, whatever. Um, but this, <laughs> oh God, you're not gonna believe this. Let me show you this box. Let me show you this box. This is how it is wrapped. They're all just together. Taking off the bubble wrap, I a shard just went loose. This is, I don't even know what to say. I'm flabbergasted right now. I am flabbergasted. I hope the ones I really wanted are in good condition, but I really doubt it now. Woo! Okay, let's see what we got. Oops, just move the camera. Sorry about that. Okay. Mmm! Already upset, already upset. The first ones that I pulled out that I really wanted were this kangaroo and Joey salt and pepper set. It's got a foot broken off. It's got an ear broken off. Oh Lord. Okay. Ooh. I hope this turns out positive, I do, but that one was a bad start because that was one I really, really, really wanted out of this set. Let's, um, okay. So here's the salt and pepper tree, which has some bears that go on it. These look all right, it says foreign. So they're definitely vintage because that would have timed them um, while well, things had to be marked foreign or what country they were from when they were imported. These are in good condition on first glance. I'm happy about that. Um, let's see, no complaints so far. Okay, so that's one. Put that right back there with my coffee. I'm so nervous about this. Here we go. Here's a kangaroo foot. Okay, let's see. We're gonna get more positives, right? We'll get some more positives out of this. So little wooden salt or salt and peppies. Well, I don't know. I mean, are all wooden salt and peppers called that? I don't think so. I think that was just certain ones, but these seem all right. There we go. So yeah, these seem okay. Again, these are marked foreign, definitely vintage. Look at the little googly eyes. <laughs> um, okay, very pointy nose though. I don't know if these would be safe for little kids to handle, that's for sure. Okay, let's see. Oh, this was a set I really wanted, but um, I they're definitely not what I thought they were. So, little, little monks, salt and pepper shakers. Now, some of these um, can do really well when they're ceramic. This, I think, is plastic. I am near positive is plastic. Let's take a stopper out. Oh, no, I can tell already. Plastic. Okay, but they say Hong Kong on the back. So here they are again. Let me see if I can show you the little Hong Kong on there. Can you see that? Hope, hopefully the camera's focusing right then. So I don't know what these are going to go for considering um, they're plastic, but they're not new by any means so i'll just have to look them up right okay what else do we have here 
Now this is a set that I really wasn't concerned with because you can get these everywhere in the UK. Um, and they look like they were beat up in transit. Definitely I could tell from the photos they were not like this before. Um, so these are postal boxes in the UK. I'm sure they're recognizable to a lot of people, but look at that damage. So yeah, and these say EPI, copyright EPI. So I don't know when they were from, but I'm assuming with the sticker and everything on there, they're kind of newish. Well, new as in not vintage. So put those back there and then, oh, found a kangaroo ear. That and one other one were like the two most favorite. I'm gonna, I'm afraid to pull them out. Right, okay, here goes the next one that I was really looking forward to. Here's one part of it. Is is a dog. The dog looks like he's still in good condition, although sad. <laughs> right, okay, let's see. No marks on the bottom. It looks like there was a sticker on here at one point in time. Um, there we go. Decent condition on the top. And he goes with, let's see, let's cross our fingers. Ooh, this looks all right too. And this one still has a sticker, says made in Taiwan. And it's a little trash can or bin, as they say in the UK. So I'm happy about this one. Now, this is what intrigued me when I looked at this um, bundle of salt and pepper shakers on eBay is why would you want a sad dog holding a trash can as your salt and pepper set? I don't know. Any ideas? Because I don't get it, but I'll take it because I think he's cute and I think he's different and quirky. So I love him. But uh, yeah, very interesting, right? Here we go. Okay. Okay. So far, not too bad. I have some ones that are really working out. Let's hope that the rest of them go just as well okay so these are little cowboy boot salt and pepper shakers let's see how you would hold them okay for some reason they both show the little um touristy bit on the same side you would think they would be on opposite sides but um these are broken are the pieces in here in this box or were they broken before no, nope, looks like uh, some of it was shattered while in transit because I can see the little bits in the box. So that boot is broken. And these were from Gibraltar. Yes. So Gibraltar. There we go. Um, they were originally made in Japan. So yeah, with their stoppers, ugh, bits are falling off onto the floor as I turn it upside down. Woo, okay, guys and dolls, I am trying not to be upset on camera. <laughs> Is it working? I don't think it's working. Okay, okay, right. Oh, here's one of another set I was really looking forward to. Nice little piggy. It says Bone China, Taiwan on the back. There we go. Here, little piggy. And then should have a brother somewhere in here. Oh, this one's wrapped in paper towel. Nope, that's not the brother. Okay, this one's wrapped in paper towel. So are we gonna get lucky with this one? And we got lucky! Yes, here he is. And he also has his sticker. So, I mean, aren't these cute? <gasps> I love them. They're adorable. Look at their little like overalls. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so anyway, they got their stoppers. Sorry if you hear like a squeaking. My chair is rubbing up against my desk, making noise, making quite the mess over here. So uh, bear with me. Right, okay, so the other one that was wrapped in paper towel not very protective, but still, I would have appreciated it if they were all wrapped in a paper towel because that would have been better than nothing. Um, 
And these are Walt Disney World salt and pepper shakers made in Japan. There we go. Right. So they look like they're in good condition. Here's at the bottom. Uh, same thing with this one. So it says copyright Disney um, Japan. So I'm going to have to date these. I mean, they're really in good condition. I would think they were newer. No. Oh, I thought they were in good condition, but they're not. This one. Oh, God. This one. I don't know if you can see it, but there's little like little specks right there that are missing which is like the edges of cracks so there's a crack that kind of goes all around like this in the glaze um i don't know if that would have happened in transit or before but i'm assuming with the way these were packed that it was probably in transit and they were delivered by ups but it's not ups's fault it was obviously the person who packed these um who just doesn't Give a crap, obviously. So, oh, I'm gutted. I am gutted. Uh, I'm a Disney fan. You've probably noticed with things on my desk. I've got Stitch. I've got Woody from Toy Story. So on and so forth. Lots of other things. I'm not going to go through it all. So I was really looking forward to these two. And, um, oh, oh. Just as I was about to set it down, I haven't even properly put it down. This piece fell out. Ooh, okay, I cannot wait to be able to source again on a regular basis in person because trying to source for my shop on eBay is becoming frustrating. I'm not saying it wasn't frustrating before, but this takes the cake. So, good lord. Ooh, right. Is anybody else watching this video upset or is it just me? Okay, so these I really wasn't too keen on um, before little Chianti bottles. These to me don't appeal to me. Do they appeal to you? Um, because maybe it's just me, just not like my style, um, not my mojo. So they say, let's see. F N no F M Bagnoli Montalupo, I think it says. And it says Brev B R E F if that helps. Italy with uh five it looks like five 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 one zero one. Okay, so whatever all that means. I will look these up. So they must have been maybe like a tourist piece, a souvenir. There we go. Let me show you. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the bottom. Okay. Right. So, anyway, that's pretty cool. They need to be cleaned up a bit, but they're not broken. So, okay, these I could give a rat's you know what about. Um, I saw them in the bundle, but they didn't really do it for me. They do say stainless steel made in Denmark, but I see these around here a lot and they still make, um, salt and pepper shakers that look just like this. So I don't know. I don't find them intriguing. I don't think anybody's going to look at them right away and want them. Uh, but you know, I'll try to resell them anyway. And because they're stainless steel, they didn't break. So um, there we go. Okay, now these looked cute to me. They're just two little bottles with, are they plastic or rubber? Like a rubbery sort of kind of cap to each of them. Yellow and green. And then, um, let's see what they say. This one, this green one doesn't say anything on the bottom. This one has like, and kind of M looking thing and a, the Roman numeral three and 39. Hopefully the camera picks that up. If it doesn't, I am sorry. You'll just have to take my word for it. But um, I do think these are really cute. So 
Okay. And then, hmm, I think these are plastic or melamine. They might be melamine. Yeah. It says emmel, E M M E L L. And they're little eggs with gold polka dots. So I thought maybe when I looked at the photo that these would come out, but um, they don't. Looks like they're meant to stay in there, like glued in there. So let me see if I can show you the bottom at all. Let me know if you recognize this. I'll have to research it and see what, uh, what these are all about. Right, okay. Um, these I wasn't too bothered about, but let's say it says Rot Nest Island WA. So Thompson Bay, there's a lighthouse, there's a uh Quoka. I don't know how you say that, but I don't know. Do you are you guys familiar with this place? I am not. So I would like to say I'm better at geography than I am, but just not the case. So I don't see any markings on the bottom. They look new to me. Obviously a tourist piece, which I like tourist pieces depending on what they are. I just don't think this is one that's gonna like um, catch anybody's attention necessarily, unless that particular place means something to them. So, okay. Uh, these, what does it say here? turn and pull out. So anyway, the little, what would you say? Are these meant to be pipes, mallets? Um, I've seen these kinds of salt and pepper shakers a lot. I'll be honest with you. They don't do it for me. Um, I didn't buy the bundle um, because of them. So they'll be interesting. So I don't know really anything about these. They feel like plastic um, and they have a logo on here that's like two diamonds intertwined that say PC. I will try to show you, but um, if the camera picks it up, I'll be shocked. So give that a try. See what you think. Okay. So yeah, um, nothing wrong with them, but again, they are plastic. So um, this looks like maybe that's where they would have put some like tourist information, but there's none on there. And then this is the last set. Oh, looking at shards of a cowboy boot in here, breaking my heart. So that sounds like a country song. <laughs> oh no, no. These, this is cracked on the bottom. It's just said, these are glass ones. One of them says foreign. Um, same like pressed glass. I thought again, these were really cute, but one has like a plastic top. This one has a metal top. So I'm assuming they probably didn't go together originally. Um, but here's, oh, here's the chip on this one. So, mm. all right guys, what do you, um, what do you think I should say on the eBay review? Mm. I'll put up here what I paid for everything, um, what I paid for the bundle. But yeah, what should I say about this? Because there are some I want to keep. Um, I mean, the kangaroo, maybe I could repair, although it's not going to fetch the same amount of money. So what, what do you think? I'm just... Psh, blown away that they would be packed that way. I thought it was a bit odd when they came in a box that was clearly looks like a vintage shoe box. Um, and I thought, oh, why are you using a vintage box? Like to pack and put labels and stuff all over. Um, but you know, some, not everybody sees the value in vintage boxes. That's no big deal, um, to some people. So to each their own, but the fact that they were just, why would you put two things of newspaper on top, but then not wrap them up? You could have used that newspaper to wrap the salt and pepper shakers in. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I was so excited about this video. I got so much done today. 
Um, and er my goal was like, yeah, if I do all this stuff today, then I can make this video without feeling guilty that I didn't get some other stuff done first. And I was just like so hyped up about it. And then as soon as I lifted up the box and I heard the jiggle, I thought this is not going to be good. Not good. So, um, yeah, I don't even know how to wrap I don't know how to wrap this up. I want to wrap it on a positive. So what I will say is please um, go check out some of my other videos. I do have another video that's a salt and pepper shaker haul from eBay. Um, I have a five pound pig haul. I have, oh geez, by the time you see this video, there probably would have been a different haul um, of pigs or maybe it'll be the next one. I'm not sure which out, which one I'm going to put out first, but yeah, go check out some of my other recent videos uh, and please give me a like if you're so kind. Uh, you could give me a thumbs up if, if you weren't happy. That's fine too. I just want some feedback and please comment below. Let me know what you think about all this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with a friend and I will see you next time.